sweet. Well, not so much the hot rod, but I started uh, sorting tools. I had tools in this box, in this box, and you know, all over the place in this box. I just started sorting things. And I mean sorting things. I mean screwdrivers. Throw out a bunch of junk ones. Just enough room to close the drawer without fighting. Standard wrenches. I got about four of each. Uh, three eight sockets. All nice and clean. Deeps and shallows. And all the ratchets, all the extensions and adapters and reducers and swivels and all that stuff. What's this one? Sockets, quarter inch sockets. I have thousands. Quarter inch wrenches, ratchets. I have. There's about 15 there. These all. These are just standard. I got another draw for uh, the metrics. Half inch. I have one, two, three, four. Oh, these yellow ones are metric. I got my impacts, I got my small impacts, I got my deep sockets, I got my big sockets, like 36 millimeter, 30, 35, all the way down. And then they all turn into standard. These are all standard. And I got Torx and Allens and all kinds of stuff. That drawer is heavy. All my hammers, hammers and files, all go in here. Rubber, ball peen, you name it. All my hand files. I had, um, uh, I think it was 32 something like that when I was done counting. All my drill bits. This drawer is full. I can't put any. Put one more in here and it ain't going to close. Oh, there's that little cable. I need that. These are all my, some of my taps. Taps and easy outs. These are all taps and easy outs and step bits. 
I've been sorting all day. All the electrical, nothing's changed in there. But, uh, what the heck else did I do? Oh, Ooh, another pair of ice grips. I just have like 15, 18 papers. Silicone don't go there. Cotton wheels, stuff like that. Uh, pliers, all sorted. Believe it or not, I had 12 pairs of channel locks. Air tools is just, you know, tires and fittings and stuff like that, blow guns. All my brass and uh, black iron pipe air fittings. Rulers, measuring, drawing, you name it. Knives. Uh, just junk lug nuts and stuff. Allen wrenches more than God himself. <laughs> Sets and loose ones. Uh, miscellaneous knives and cutters and stuff. Yeah, I've been out here sorting. I haven't done anything to the car. Um, I was measuring the B-pillar post. I'm going to see if I can draw that up tonight. Busy day. Cleaning. Oh, look at this. I took most of the stuff off the wall. I found that when it was on the wall, I didn't really look for it on the wall. I mean, I got my basic metric and standard $50 sets a piece matching uh, ratchet wrenches. SK set that my dad gave me. I got a couple missing, but I got duplicates of others. Um, this is the mess that was on the table, but this table was just loaded with wrenches and all kinds of crap. It's cleaning up. All the grinders are here and wrapped up. I don't have one air chisel, I have two. Uh, oh yeah, I got a pile of crap outside. All that stuff's going. My bandsaw's under there. All that crap's going. I swept the floors. Put away a ton of crap. A ton of goodies, too. Here's nuts and bolts, miscellaneous. Put away tons of hardware. They've been doing literally nothing but cleaning and sorting. This is all Fiero stuff, some of it. I really haven't done anything to the car, sorry. <laughs> All of these are duplicates and triplicates and Japanese made junk and it's all leaving. Um, I don't have a little, I call them battery wrenches. I don't got one, I got three of them. I won't miss one. I got so many it ain't funny. But uh, all this stuff is going in a tool bag. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All this stuff's going in a tool bag. Now, this is all my duplicates and triplicates and cheapy stuff and uh, things I really don't need. I haven't touched in years. Um, Ken has a little boy. I think I'm going to give it all to him. We're going to start a mechanic. What do you think? No picking through this now, Ken. It's for your kid, not you. You got that? <laughs> I gotta put this dash pot on my uh, bandsaw. The one I have does not work. It's all seized up. Actually, I think I'll bring that in and measure it so I can make some brackets for it. Yeah, that's a good idea. Top hole is half inch. Uh, center to center is about five and seven eighths, so we're gonna have to go a little shorter than that, probably like five and three quarter. The uh, on center of the silver one is seven inches, so we're gonna have to put a little outboard, make some kind of a bracket. Not a big deal. I see that all the time. Um, the shaft is half inch on this thing. It's not fully compressed. But, uh, hmm, to put something on the output. I wonder if this is steel. Could be. Could make a bracket off that.
This is uh, the 1974 dash pot. Sears wants $80 for that. I got this one for free. It's a little bit bigger. But if I weld this pin on from that one to about there, and I make a side bracket, it'll work just as good. Thing is, I'm going to have to take it apart, get the oil out of it, and uh, I don't want to melt the seals in the thing. This one is shot. It gets stuck all the way up. It doesn't come down. I had it apart two or three times. Sick of playing with it. This one works beautiful. And another airplane. So we'll buzz that pin onto there. Make a new bracket that can go off the pins. On the bandsaw itself, all I have to do is drill a hole a little shorter. A little lower to get the uh, big one to work on the with a little one failed. Alright guys, it's like 6, 7 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to go in and eat dinner and play on the computer for a while, make some videos, see what I can do. I'm going to drop them things, like I said, the B-pillars. Okay, have a good night.